Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Notion tour or Notion setup tour basically. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys my Notion and how I set it up and how I use Notion because it's honestly helped me so much and I know everyone says this. Honestly, I'm really not a type A kind of person. I think I'm quite organized but I've never been those people who used like excel spreadsheets and organized my life like that. That's why I never really wanted to start using Notion because it was very intimidating first of all. After Notion kind of started blowing up on like YouTube and TikTok I really tried to put effort in in using it because at first I really did not like it but after some time I definitely got more comfortable with it and I think I'm finally happy with my setup that I can do a video on it so yeah this is kind of weird I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my stuff but uh, <laughs> anyways also there's so many like notion videos on YouTube there's like I don't even know how many. If you are struggling with how to get started and like making your notion personalized, then just watch a bunch of YouTube videos. And the way that I kind of developed my notion was just from copy and pasting people's templates. <laughs> so um, most of my notion is from other people's templates. A little bit of context. I use this for the majority of the aspects of my life. I am a student, so that's my main reason why I use Notion and the main thing that I get out of it is to organise my uni life because that is a mess. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, is this recording? Hello? Imagine if I did this video and it wasn't recording the whole time. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, here is my Notion. Um, let's make it full screen, shall we? Here is my Notion. Um, I am actually very proud of my Notion because I like to think that I put a lot of time in it and effort, but um, I think that's one thing about Notion that I really didn't like at the beginning is that it was so intimidating and I was just looking at a blank screen and thinking, you know, how did people make the notions so aesthetic and how do people like put so much into it but honestly just i just worked on it it and just copied and pasted people's templates so notion is basically just a way to organize your life really and it's great because there's so many different things you can do with it and that's why everyone loves it so much because anyone can use it so any aspect of your life whether you're a student whether you're a creative, whether you're a person who works a 9 to 5 job, you can use this to organise any aspect of your life. So yeah, and I think it's just very useful for students in particular, especially if you're in higher education and you don't really have like a way to organise your uni work. I think this is very useful. I started using this probably just a little after the beginning of second year. So I've used it for a few months now and I don't think I would be <laughs> at the point I am now this year if I wasn't using Notion just because I not only am more organised but I just feel like a sense of that I have my life together. Here on the left side I have two pages and I have home and then weekly agenda so let's start I guess. Um, at home. A lot of people have a lot of pages. Some people have like pages all the way down here. I only like to have two just because I like it to be a bit more minimal. This isn't the most minimalist notion but I just like to have not so many pages just because I feel like it's less overwhelming and honestly I only need two to be honest and I could probably put my weekly agenda in my home but I just like to have them separate just because I spend a lot more time on my weekly agenda page. So my homepage is probably 30% probably. I probably spend only 30% of my time on Notion on my homepage. Like I said, I spend a lot of time on my weekly agenda. It was heavily inspired by Moya 
on YouTube and I'll put her video in the description and this is kind of like my everything page and I put things in here that are not specific to uni work just literally everything in here as you can see there's quite a lot in here so let's get started <laughs> so first of all on your pages you can change the emojis like so and then you can also change the background so you can use these default settings that they already have on Notion or you can also upload an image and I like to import images from like Pinterest or also you can add in GIFs so you just have to copy and paste the GIF link and then submit it. I'll show you my weekly agenda, I have a GIF on there but that's how Notion can be really aesthetic or whatever. Um, over here, let's start on the left side. I'm already getting out of breath, oh my gosh. Okay, so here on the left side of my homepage, I just have a Spotify playlist that I've made and this is just one that I like. <laughs> And I just randomly put it on here just but yeah this is all that's um, just a playlist and if you want to add a playlist all you have to do is press the plus button um, and then scroll down to audio and then you can choose a file and then copy and paste or copy and paste your Spotify link okay and then on the right side of this page I kind of have this top task section and this is just a section just to give me kind of reminders of things that I need to remember so I actually have my module registration today actually which I need to do so <laughs> good thing I have that there sometimes I will put stuff like if I need to buy someone a present for a birthday or something like that this section is my daily section and I've split it up from my daily and then my yearly overview so here it is my daily overview this was one of the first pages that i had when i made a notion here are just things that i try to do every single day either before i get started on my work in the morning or by the end of the day i usually like to get these things done over here i have some other things which i actually out of place because I have found other places to put them but these are just quotes from my bible from books so here is my yearly overview and this is kind of my main calendar for notion and there's a calendar view and also a board view which is nice so you can kind of see things in different perspectives these are my 2020 oh found a typo 2021 goals I really like using this also for my assignments. I do have a separate exam timetable, but this is where I put my assignments, especially this month. For some reason, we have three assignments due in one week. So you can see these are my assignments that I have, the three that I have. And so I need to get going on those, but um, I do like to write down like here, start on my tort deadline, start on my equity deadline, just so I can really remember that I need to start on this day, otherwise I'm going to be behind. Over here, as we move on to the right, I have a uni section, which I've divided up into term 1, term 2. I haven't got a term 3 yet, but at the end of this term, I will make a page for term 3, my summer term. So I have divided these two up. So for example, this is term 2. These are the modules that I'm taking in term 2. This is very important, which are my deadlines. So I can see clearly what modules I have deadlines for, what they are, when they're due, and if I've completed them. I think last year I didn't really write down my deadlines or plan ahead of them. So the only way I knew when I had an assignment was if a friend reminded me or if I would read like my law group chats and people would start talking about it. That was how I reminded myself of my deadline. Because of that, I would finish a deadline and then I would start a new one. <laughs> but um, because I have this kind of all laid out, I can plan ahead when I need to start when, and especially this year. And for term two, we have so many deadlines all compacted together for some reason. And we still have to prepare for exams, so. It's very stressful. Also, I have on this page my timetable for this term. It kind of 
fluctuated throughout the term, but this was basically what it was. Um, just to remind myself, I do have it on my phone as well. Okay, and then I have this page, which is mostly for future planning and planning for what I wanna do after I graduate. Cannot. This page probably stresses me out the most. I honestly would remove this page if I could, but I leave it here purposely just so I can remind myself that I need to think about what I wanna do <laughs> after I'm in uni because it's not that far away. I have my CV. I Here's a place you can put your cover letter. I think this is a Notion template. So here is a little table for applications. These are not things that I've applied for. I think this was the Notion default template. But this would be extremely, extremely useful. If you're a law student, honestly, even if you're not a law student, but especially I know if you do want to go into corporate law, this would be so useful because I know that obviously it's not easy to get into corporate law and you have to apply so many times over so many cycles and years. Of applications and so this would be very very useful to just track everything that you've applied for so all the vacation schemes you've applied for all the training contracts you've applied for and even if you're not successful it's still useful to keep all of your records especially in the law industry where you have to kind of apply multiple times to get one thing this would be extremely useful and then I just have ideas here career ideas and plans after graduating and just expose my plans um here are my <laughs> ideas um i'm just trying to appreciate uni for now and just still figuring out what i want to do whenever i have an idea of maybe just like a very brief thought of what i want to do i will write it down so i like to just keep them here for future purposes um <laughs> So yeah, hopefully maybe this page will be filled a bit more as time goes on. Okay, over here I have my personal section. So in C, this is just for me to keep track on my Bible reading. Here I have another Spotify playlist. This is my worship playlist. Um, I have a little quote here. If you want to add a quote, all you have to do is press plus and then quote so if you just press the plus button there's so many options and most of this is a way of you to get started but i have pictures everywhere on my notion just because i like to have everything nice and visually pleasing all of my pictures i've basically gotten from pinterest and over here is my bible log which i really really like this is where I kind of write down whenever I'm reading and I find something that I really like or has really resonated with me, I like to write it down. I don't do this daily, but I only do it really when I read something and I really want to write it down. Um, so I have the date, the verse, the quote, key takeaways and also for when. And this is a table template, which I have all over. And I find temp um, tables really useful. What you have to do again is just press the plus button and then press table, but I use table inline like so. And then you can add columns. And then you can see how on my Bible log, I have kind of different columns. So this one is a multi-select column. So you can use a text, number, select, multi-select, stuff like that. You can also use a checkbox, checkbox. So you can use that. So yeah, it's very useful. So you can also add a view. So this is a table view, but you can also do a board view, create, and then you can see so these are all of the different kind of quotes that I have for different reasons. So if I feel like I'm worrying, I can read all of these quotes. Or if I want to read about love, I can read these quotes, patience, and so on. So I really, really like this part of my notion. So here is my YouTube page. I don't put a lot of time into this because I don't really plan that much of my YouTube, to be honest. 
the only thing I really do is kind of add ideas in this section. There's also a content calendar, YouTube dashboard, which you can link basically back to your YouTube and see all your stats and everything. Add goals, so for example, reach 500 subs or something like that. Okay, and then this, again, I don't use a lot right now, but this is a budgeting and kind of finance page. I don't use this a lot, mainly because I don't have that many finances to organize. This would be extremely useful for many people, I'm sure. I would probably use this a lot more if I was actually in uni and if I was spending, you know, groceries, if I was going out, you know, eating in restaurants, going to clubs. So if I was using this in first year, I think it would be a lot more useful. When you're in uni, you can quickly lose track of how much you're spending. Then I have little images and quotes as well. So first of all, assignment feedback and grades. This is critical, one of the critical pages for my uni organization. So this is where I keep all of my feedback from my seminar leaders and lecturers from assignments that I had done, exams that I have done. So most of this is actually from first year and I've divided it into assignment name, module, the grade I got, positives, weaknesses, and things to improve on. And just keeping track of not just my grades, but just to notice patterns in my assignments because feedback is honestly critical and so crucial for improving your grades um so it's always important to look back on feedback in first year i hated doing this and i hated like typing my feedback and everything especially if i had a bad grade or an assignment that i really like didn't enjoy it's very important to put it all down because you could be stuck at a certain grade and there's a reason for that it's because you're not looking at your feedback and you're not implementing that feedback into your future assignments so this has honestly been again another very crucial page over here i have exam prep i just recently added this page onto my notion because it's coming up to exam season for me soon in the summer and so i need to start preparing for my exams and everything like that so i have um just a list of all of the modules i have exams for so i have five exams at the end of the year you can put down like what percentage the exams are and how they're weighted and then i also added a calendar view over here which I think will be very useful once exam season starts to get going. I don't have my exam dates yet, so when I do get them, I will write them down here. So you can just add a page and put like equity exam, and then you can just put down like the date, um, the time, and all that information. Also, this calendar can be very useful for planning all of your preparation, your revision timetable. Um, I wrote down one here. So for example, I want to study tort law. I will write down, make a list and specify particularly what area I want to consolidate, where in the textbook, what kind of revision I want to do and for how long for, just so that it's very clear to me what I want to study and so I don't have to like spend so much time beforehand. I will definitely use that a lot more soon. Over here I have my bookshelf which I really like. Um, oh by the way these covers are what GIFs are so I got these all from either Pinterest or Jiffy. So this is another table as you can see I like my tables on my notion Like I said one of my yearly goals this year is to read a lot more And so this book log is kind of helping me keep track of everything So you can write down the genre The rating quotes that I liked and then takeaways from the book so I'm currently reading the song of Achilles and oh my gosh this book has been the first book in a long, long time that I have not wanted to put down. And like, I literally woke up this morning and I wanted to read it straight away. So yeah, and then I just keep track of all of like quotes that I like. And here's just a very long list of books I want to read. And then here I have Dream Life. This kind of page, I don't spend a lot of time in 
but I just like to have it just to kind of again visualize my life more there's a nice quote which i've always liked i don't remember where i think i read it from a podcast um and it's what do you want in life and what are you willing to do to get there and i think this very much fits in this page um so i've kind of divided up aspects of my life i guess that i want to prioritize so career wise relationship wise and hobbies and these are just questions that I've written down. They're kind of like journal prompts. So I don't really write them down. Every now and then I will just look at them and then kind of think about them. Here I have more life stuff because clearly I have not organized my life enough. So I have a lot more stuff here. So here I have my gratitude log, which I really like. I think this is a very cute page as well. So I've divided it up and I just use this to keep track of things that I am grateful for, if you could not tell. I try to do this every day. It's nice to look back on, especially when it gets a lot longer and I can just look at it. So I like to keep track of things that I am proud of myself for. Over here I have a habit tracker. These are things that I want to really improve, basically in all aspects of my life, just to improve my well-being as well. Again, I don't do this every single day, but I try to do it as much as I can. So reading, reading my Bible, sleeping, praying, journaling, um, keep track of my screen time because that's something I want to improve. As you can see, this is uh, extremely embarrassing. Um, yeah, I keep track if I've exercised that day or not and then when I do exercise I usually like to skip rope so I keep track of how many jumps I've done and then um, how long I exercise for because my rope has like a little uh, digital that keeps track of how long I've been exercising for and also how many jumps I've done and then I keep track of also my mood so here are my moods um, not an exhaustive list but um, it's just nice to look at because you can definitely see patterns so for example you can clearly see nine hours of my screen time and I felt like I was procrastinating then I have my yearly goals I just write them down this page is very empty not very important then i have some recipes um when i started uni i always wanted to definitely improve my cooking and just expand recipes and things and dishes that i can cook when i'm in uni i always feel like i never know what to cook especially for dinner so <laughs> this is very useful for that and again you can um sort them into a board so you can see like if i don't know what to cook for dinner i can just look at this quickly so yeah and then i have a podcast log i haven't filled this in a lot either but i am trying to read a lot more pod read listen to a lot more podcasts um these are the two that i only really listen to it's the mindset mentor and the happiness lab i really like the mindset mentor i am not a huge podcast person because i feel like people like especially well-being podcasts people just say the same thing over and over again but <laughs> sometimes i do listen to them and i'm really um enlightened by what set what people say so so i've divided this up into um takeaways and then things i should do so um basically and then i have a travel page which obviously doesn't come very useful at this moment in time but hopefully um i can use it in the future and i can <laughs> actually maybe go to some of these places but i have this divided up into places i want to go in the world and then places i want to go in london because whenever i go to london there's always so many places i want to go to so this is literally a list of things i want to do with my friends so yeah this is my home page that took a long time but let's move on to my weekly agenda my weekly agenda is like i said earlier from the beginning where i spend probably 90 percent 80 percent of my time on notion i spend on this page so my weekly agenda is mostly based 
for my uni organization that's why i spend a lot of time on it for my course there's a lot of reading a lot of things i need to do every single day so i put them all on this page and today is monday so you can see i have not done anything on this page but I have a bible verse which i like um the week it is because my course they divide it up into weeks just to keep track because then when i go onto like my uni moodle i can see clearly like oh it's week 22. this is a video clip or just a video from youtube from miles carter and i really love this video i just love miles carter in general everything like and this is just an, it's just a nice message um, that I like to play every once in a while um, just to remind myself of things, of the values and the beliefs I believe in. This section is kind of like the other section of my homepage but this is more specifically for uni work and emails. Oh my gosh. I absolutely hate reading my uni emails, like I cannot read uni emails for the life of me. The rare times I do spend, I sit down and I read my emails, I type in here like everything that I need to remember. For example, if I need to meet up with a seminar leader, I will type that in. Just really random stuff to do with uni, I will put it there. Okay, and then for the bulk of this page is literally just Monday to Sunday. And I have Everything that I need to do on that day, I write it down. Um, for example, Monday, I divide it up from morning, afternoon and evening. And I put everything I need to do. So all the readings I have to do, the seminar prep that I have to do, cases I need to read. Um, and then in purple, I have the time of my seminar. So I have a seminar at this time. So I know I need to prepare for it either on Tuesday or Monday. Um, same for equity, I need to do all my equity work like the day before or a few days before and I will do everything, all of the planning on Sunday evening so I don't have to do it during the week just so I have a good grasp of everything that I need to do during the week. Also if I have important meetings like a society meeting I'll put it in here. If I don't finish like this reading I just move it on to the next day and that's why i really like this page but that was my notion tour and notion setup video i hope it was informative and it helped at least one person understand it a bit better or um hopefully by the end of this you have felt like you wanted to be more organized i don't know but honestly even though everyone says this Notion has definitely helped organize my life so much better on all aspects of my life, um, especially my uni work. I feel like after I've been using it, I don't, I haven't been behind on my uni work as much. But thank you for watching if you did watch until the end because this has probably been a extremely long video. But I hope it has been informative and detailed enough. So. Yeah, um, honestly, if you're just getting started with Notion, I just really recommend copying and pasting people's templates. If I can, I will lick, I will put my template down below. I still haven't figured that out, but... So yeah, thank you for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah.